Hello everybody and welcome back to another Big Finish Torchwood review. In today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the May 2022 release which is War Chess featuring Toshiko Sato as portrayed by Noako Mori. This episode has been written by Rossa Phillips and is available to order on the Big Finish website now. The physical CD is £10.99 and the download is £8.99 and it can also be purchased as a part of a bundle with the most recent Torchwood main range stories. Rossa McPhillips makes his Torchwood debut with War Chess, seeing the return of Toshiko Sato for a raid on an alien technology storage unit, known as the Anti-Vellum. It's always nice to see the return of one of Torchwood's main TV characters, as the Big Finish range has expanded out into its own character creations quite drastically over recent years. The Antivellum is the biggest alien tech storage unit in the world. Catalogued and processed, this is the biggest and most dangerous filing cabinet of stuff to essentially ever exist, left in isolation after the fall of Torchwood as a large corporation at the end of Doctor Who Series 2. The raid is organised by the Door Cohort, who believe the technology is in the wrong hands, and they can put it to much better uses. Hmm... Tom Butcher is superb as the powerful gang leader known as Vernon, followed alongside Buffini Seth as Nisha, a character with lots of intelligence and potential, which is perhaps lost due to the group that she finds herself part of. The whole episode has a brilliantly strategic method of moving the plot forward. Had this been a TV story, I can almost imagine it being a very found footage episode. The listener does very much feel like you are a part of the mission to kind of break in to grab the alien tech and leave, which is a rather immersive experience and one of the rather creative aspects of the Torchwood main range overall, and is one of the reasons why I really like this range, because each individual release does something just a bit different. It feels different to a usual audio drama. Tosh performs brilliantly under pressure, and I like how Rossa writes her interactions to the various revelations throughout the plot, which naturally I'm not going to mention. The episode is all about trustworthy characters, and this episode just so happens to have characters about as trustworthy as the main characters in Line of Duty. As one of the cast is poisoned with an alien substance, you do see Tosh's medical expertise coming into play, but also her calculative priorities. She is a character who is always thinking, she's always one step ahead of the game. Seeing what is essentially Torchwood's filing cabinet and admin cataloguing process also makes Torchwood as an organisation feel a lot more real. I was half expecting to hear a few references being dropped in over the episode's runtime to various artefacts that have been collected from different previous stories. However, that wasn't the case, which I think is maybe a missed opportunity, or perhaps that's just the fan service side of me talking. I have in fact also recently reviewed The War Doctor Begins Battlegrounds, and that set also features an episode written by Ross McPhillips, and both of the episodes have in common basically his previous life as somebody who works in security, so the Time War episode is all about strategy and warfare and missions, and then this episode once again follows that perspective of it being a mission, but also that backstabbing nature, and I think that his way of writing is really intriguing, and I would love to see more from him in the future. The story draws focus to the intentions of Torchwood, and if you've listened to even a fraction of the big finished Torchwood output, you will know that it doesn't take long to find a story which questions Torchwood's position, and if what they do is in fact good. If Torchwood have the technology to help the world for good, why don't they use it? Could the Door cohort actually have a point? Is a commentary, I think, on those with power, and them choosing how to use it, for the good or for the bad? War Chess is a calculative, very high stick story, with a bold set of characters, all of which with their own strengths and motives, which rather brings the story to life. The undercover base aspect of this episode, I imagine, is also quite a lot of fun for those of you that perhaps like conspiracies, undercover government organisations, and backstabbing corruption. The character dynamics make this story build in suspense. With some surprising revelations, it's an effective yet immersive story that is quite different from other episodes within this range. So thank you very much for watching this Big Finish Torchwood review, I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do of course stay tuned on the host productions for regular Big Finish audio drama reviews, and do of course join me next time in the Torchwood series, as I'm going to be taking a look at Dead Plates, as written by David Lewenon, featuring the return of Murray Melvin as Billis Manger. And of course until then, I shall see you all next time.